Hey there, it's Iron here, and we are back on Elvenar, and we are going to be covering scoring and ranks, uh, your individual player ranks, your rank in your fellowship, as well as the overall fellowship ranks. But the main thing we're going to talk about scoring. So if you're brand new to Elvenar, even if you've been playing for a while, I know the question often comes up is what actually makes your score go up? Because it almost seems like it's one of those little secret things, and I just want to make a quick video and help you all out. So uh, let's go ahead and just cover some of the basics. If you go into your rankings area and by clicking up here, you'll see, you can see that I am, on, at least on this world, I am ranked 2,249th. That is based on my score compared to everybody else in the world. You can see I'm actually uh, ranked uh, right along C. Smith right now. We have the same score. Uh, if you click over to Fellowships, you will see that the, the Fellowship is ranked 78th, and we have a score of 326,886. Well, that score is actually the combined score of everybody within our Fellowship. And if we go over here to our actual Fellowship, you can see I am ranked number 12th here. Now, it's, it's, it's kind of funny that in my Fellowship I'm ranked number 12th, but... Uh, and me and C. Smith have the same uh, score, but it, it, when I go to overall rank, it's, it's ranking me higher. Just, I guess it's just one of those glitch things, no big deal. But uh, again, your score here obviously uh, determines your rank within uh, your fellowship, but the overall rank is your rank in that world. So let's talk about this. So the one thing that often confuses people is uh, what actually makes the score go up. And the, the first thing that makes your scores go up is the things that you build in, in Elvenar, but it's not quite that that you know straightforward. So for example, these roads here, I don't get any boost in my score for that. But really what matters as far as your score is how many people it costs you and how much culture it costs you. So for example, if I am over here and I want to upgrade this particular building, you'll see that it is going to cost me seven culture. So let me show you how this works real quick. If, we, if you look at my score here, it's 13,024. So if I go to upgrade that building, it should jump up by seven, which will make that 13,034, right? So let's go upgrade. Now, it's going to take four hours and 22 minutes to complete this upgrade but it actually gives you the score right away. So if I go back over here, excuse me, went up to 13,031. So obviously I cannot count, but yes, 24 plus seven is 13,031. All right, you can also cancel, and if you cancel it, you can see I got my supplies back, I got all that back, but my score also reset back down to 13,024. So let's say I am trying to pass C. Smith here and I want to make sure that I put a pretty good distance between us. So if I click on this one, you know what, I'm only going to get seven points. So that's really not going to solidify my position much. If I go over here, now this is requiring 130 people and 63 culture. So if you add those together, 193 uh, points or score that will go up. So if I click that, if you remember, I was at 13,024. Click upgrade. Go back in and check. And now I'm at 13,217. So if you want to make quick jumps, you want to look for, and I'm going to do that real quick. You want to look for the ones that are going to um, and it's the combination, so either culture, people, or, or both. So if I look at this one here, you'll see this one's only going to jump up 20 because I got 14 people and 6 culture. If I go here, even though this is a bigger upgrade, it's only going to jump me up by 43, 32 plus 11. Uh, so I'm actually going up to level 10, but this also is the production that I'm getting out of it. So right now, if I want to get the biggest bang for the buck, you might say, I would do this one because I would jump up by 193 points. Now you cannot get it by placing culture, but you need culture so you can grow other things. So 
with this particular one the benefit is 21 culture which I eventually could turn around and use if I'm going to do a resonance you can see that I will get 31 people but I am not using any culture to build that however if I build a workshop you can see it takes 18 people so by building one workshop just placing that down going back here you can see now I jumped up the 18 points all right I am going to go ahead and cancel well I'm not going to cancel it now so I'm actually going to go ahead and sell that one because I don't want it right now and you see I got 18 people back and 250 that I put into it here's another one here so if I'm upgrading a manufacturer it's going to cost me 36 uh, people and six culture but some of the other ones after you upgrade them they'll, they'll require larger also if you upgrade your main hall if I was to upgrade my main hall right now it would be 235 people 168 so I'm not going to do the total math there but it's going to be close close to a 400 score increase but obviously as you can see because they're red I don't have that there so one of the other ways that you can uh, increase your score is by actually going out and conquering areas so if you remember I had 13,024 points. I'm going to go down here and just find an area. So we have one right here. Now we can go into here and we can either fight or we can negotiate either way. But once I do that, right now go back into our area here. And you can see that I increased by six points. Now if you're wondering, the amount of points that you get for conquering these areas depends on how far you are out from your main areas. That one, two, three, four, five, six. So I was out six. If you're completing some of the first ones right around you, you're only going to get one point for each one. Now if I complete this whole area, I'm getting six points for each. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's 48 points. And I'm not 100% sure if you get an extra bonus for actually completing the territory. Uh, if you do know that, leave that down in the com comments below. So I'm trying to think if there's any, anything else. Um, again, uh, this explains kind of how you advance. The more people and the more culture that each build requires, the higher the score. And it is based totally on the amount of culture and the amount of people. All right, so I hope that you'll find that helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below or any uh, suggestions if I've left something out to help other people. So until next time, this is Iron, and we'll see you.